Thank you for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Natasha Zubes in for Nicole Burley. Do you want to get straight to breaking news just coming in? In the Alex Jones defamation trial, the InfoWars host has been ordered to pay $4 million to Sandy Hook parents in the defamation trial. Marky Martin standing by live with more. Let's go to you, Marky. Hey, Natasha, yeah, important to mention, too, right off the top, that Texas and Connecticut courts have already found Alex Jones liable for defamation for spreading his conspiracy theories, but just dropping within the last five minutes. That judge down in Austin, Texas, reading the verdict, that jury has decided that one Sandy Hook family should be given more than $4 million uh, after Alex Jones repeatedly spread lies and conspiracy theories that the Sandy Hook uh, mass shooting back in 2012 was a staged hoax. This after two weeks of trial, Natasha, and all of today deliberating, that jury deciding that InfoWars host Alex Jones owes that amount of money, more than $4 million to the parents of six-year-old Sandy Hook victim, Jesse Lewis. Jesse was in first grade inside of that school. His parents' names, Scarlett Lewis and Neil Heslin, telling the court for the last two weeks that Jones' portrayal of the mass shooting as a hoax and portraying the parents as actors, as collaborators, uh, just compounded their anguish. It made it impossible for them to heal following their child's murder. Um, so, Natasha, a day of justice, not only for Jesse's parents, but for other Sandy Hook families as well. As you can imagine, not what Alex Jones' team wanted to hear. They had asked that jury uh, to award the parents $8, $1 for each of the harms that courts had already found that Alex Jones and his company. And, Marky, I'm sorry uh, to interrupt. Um, I think we for. actually have a live look outside of the courthouse now. Let's get to that quickly. Thank you. And you kill them and you make a request for something like four or five million dollars. You'll find that juries are skeptical and that they believe that that's what their job is. And they'll come back and they'll give you a low, low figure. That happens all the, all the time. I honestly don't think that was a worry in this case. I think the jury was always going to come back with the number they were going to come back with, no matter what we did. I don't think that that sort of trial strategy thing even matters much. Um, you know, you had a bunch of jurors at the beginning of this who said, yeah, look, they can consider any amount. That's, that's, they're open to considering any amount. And so that's what got them to be fairly on this jury. And when they came in and they looked at the figures, they landed right about where I think they should on the compensatory damages. I mean, we're talking about, there's not us well, claiming for medical bills. We're not claiming any lost wages. We have no economic damages to speak of. We, we merely asked this jury to pay for what is the mental stress that was done. Uh, and as far as verdicts for mental stress, I, I, I don't know a lot of top off of my head that are gonna require a media defendant to pay millions of dollars. Yes, sorry, yesterday you had said that 150 million is about six months of what you estimate InfoWars income to be. Mr. Jones said that $2 million would sink them. Looking at where you think this is gonna land, do you think it's enough to take InfoWars off the air? Oh, that's not the point. Let me, let me tell you that that's not the point of this verdict, right? We're gonna go back and talk to the jury tomorrow about how much they're worth and how much it will take to deter them, right? But this verdict, this is merely about Scarlett and Neil's mental stress. It has nothing to do with Mr. Jones or what his business is worth. And the jury is, was instructed on that, they know. They know that tomorrow they're going to come in and hear about his net worth. They know that they're going to hear evidence about that and what it will take to deter him. And yes, so Mr. Jones can't be happy tonight about knowing that he's going to have to head into that bankruptcy court already with over $5.5 million owed to these two plaintiffs. Um, but I think he knows and everybody standing out here knows that after tomorrow he's going to owe a lot more. Um, so it, it can't be a good day for him. Certainly can't be a good day for his attorney. Uh, who exposed Mr. Jones' personal information, who has also now been called up to Connecticut to show cause why he shouldn't be sanctioned and held in contempt up there, and in fact submitted to disciplinary authorities. Uh, so I think for both Mr. Jones and his lawyer, today has been a horrible day. For my clients, it is the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I think you all all know that when Scarlett and Neil finally disgorged that, that millions of dollars from Mr. Jones, um, that, that money's going to a good place. Uh, I think we all know what Neil and Scarlett are going to do with that money uh, through the, the Jesse Love Choose Love movement. When, and what a way to honor Jesse, right, is to know that, that with this money that's being disbursed. All right, that is Mark Bankston, the lawyer for Neil Heslin and Scarlett Lewis, the parents. I want to bring uh, Marky back in here. What is the reaction to this news? I mean, obviously, the delta between $8 and $4 million is certainly vast.
Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, hearing from the attorney there, just moments after the verdict dropped, it will be interesting. It sounds like court's going to reconvene tomorrow. It will be interesting to hear from Scarlett and Neil. You know, Jesse's parents, um, the attorney just now saying this is the light at the end of the tunnel for them. Uh, yes, they are getting awarded more than $4 million in actual damages, but you have to remember, too, these are parents who asked for 150 million dollars. So a far cry from their initial ask. It will be interesting to see what they have to say about this tomorrow. Also, Natasha, just this week, nearly a decade after this mass shooting took place in Newtown, Connecticut, did Alex Jones admit in a court of law under oath that his calling the Sandy Hook massacre a hoax was irresponsible? He called it 100% real. Uh, he acknowledged his words, his videos, his actions, and even acknowledged that he had brought up his, historically uh, other conspiracy theories around other egregious mass bombings, mass shootings in the past. So it sounds like there will be uh, more to come by tomorrow. Natasha. Yeah, and Marky, any indication at this point? I know it's still early about the future of InfoWars and Alex Jones's show. Yeah, at this point, we have no indication what will happen to the show. We do know Alex Jones was on his show today talking about his financial status. You know, a lot of um, uh, his team and Alex Jones came forward just this week and said, if it's even $2 million that is asked of me, I will crumple. I am not, this is his words, he said, I am not worth what my leaked financials say that I am worth. Um, so no word on InfoWars, but we do know he was on his show just today. Natasha. All right, Marky, we appreciate it. What is the next step in all of this? What are we anticipating? And by the way, we are bringing up a live look inside of the courtroom right now. Marky, what's the next step? Yeah, so next step, court will reconvene tomorrow. It sounds like everything will probably be read out loud again. The jury will confirm their verdict. And also, we're hearing that Alex Jones uh, will speak to the jury one more time to talk about his financials. As I just mentioned, he said if he was even asked for $2 million, that would crumple him uh, and his business. He's now been asked for more than double that. Um, so it sounds like we will hear from him at least one more time, um, probably tomorrow. Uh, about what he's actually able to provide this family. Mar Natasha. Marky, appreciate it. We're just waiting for the next few seconds to see if we're about to hear from the judge. Let's listen in. Ten members of the jury who are Anthony Brown, Gabriel Munoz, Thomas Henson, Ronald Baxter, Greg Valentine, Dora Lopez, Deanna Rowley, Sharon Bayless, Selena Camarillo, and Teja Utala. I'm now going to read the answers given by those jurors, um, just the answers. Question 1A, $50,000. Question 1B, $10,000. Question 1C, $50,000. Question 1D, no dollars. Question 2A, $1.5 million. Question 2B, $500,000. Question 3A, one and a half million dollars, and question 3B, half a million dollars. Is this your verdict, the 10 of you who signed it? So say each and all of you, all 10 of you. Yes. yes. All right. Would the attorneys care to inspect the verdict? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. All right. Um, then I will accept this as a verdict of the jury and order that the clerk enter it upon the minutes of the court. Normally at this time I release the jury, but you are not released. And in fact, my previous orders about not discussing anything you've heard in the case are back in place. You can no longer discuss anything you've heard in here, your decision or anything at all else about the case. Um, I am going to release you from the courtroom, however, and I expect, uh, order you to return at 8.45 for tomorrow morning, sorry, 8.45 tomorrow morning to continue, um, to continue the case. There's some more evidence. And, uh, another All right, trial. I want to bring uh, Marky back in here. So we heard the judge accepting the verdict from the jury. Anything more to add here, Marky? 
Yeah, as we just heard, the judge uh, just there confirming the verdict. Everyone will come back first thing tomorrow morning. Also, Natasha, something interesting to mention here, and, and possibly one of the biggest surprise twists that we saw this week, uh, it came to light that Alex Jones' attorney accidentally leaked two years' worth of his cell phone data to the parents' attorney. Um, you know, he had repeatedly said he didn't have emails, he didn't have text messages about Sandy Hook. And the judge um, said yesterday in a court of law, that is not true. Alex Jones' team even asked for a mistrial because of it. They had asked for multiple mistrials. The judge was sick of it, Natasha. She said that would not be granted. We just heard her, um, you know, finalize the case here. Everybody will be back tomorrow. Natasha. All right, Marky Martin, we certainly appreciate it. Again, Alex Jones uh, ordered to pay the Sandy Hook parents more than $4 million. Marky, we know you'll stay on top of it. And much more to come on Rush Hour today. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.